What is going on guys, Gaston right here back at you with another video and we have another canon rumor and this one, this one gets me pretty excited because it seems like we're gonna have a perfect cinema camera that everyone can afford and this one comes from Canon and thanks to a Canon rumors for actually leaking this information we're gonna talk about what we know coming right up Welcome back to the channel guys, Gaston right here and if you're new to this place, I do gear reviews, tutorials behind the scene. So if you like the content that you see around this channel, consider subscribing, enable those notifications for more content like this one. So Canon is about to be releasing or announcing a cinema camera that is going to use an RF mount. Now, this is actually great news and in a couple of videos ago, I said that Canon is going to release the cinema camera and I even gave a body description. I said that the camera was gonna have a body kind of like the XC15, which is the camera that actually has a built-in lens, but this one is going to have an RF mount. Now, this camera is going to be pretty affordable for most people. It's going to be a 4K camera. And the first thing that we know is that this camera is going to have the same sensor found in the C200, a super 35 millimeter sensor. Now, the super 35 sensor produce a really great quality of image and cameras have been using super 35 for the longest you know there are a lot of cameras with super 35 millimeter sensor now the other thing that a super 35 millimeter sensor is going to enable is to kind of like reduce the file size of the uh, overall movie therefore you know taking it easy when it comes to media and um, yeah so i'm actually pretty excited that canon decided to go with this entry level cinema camera and using this type of sensor now the other great news is that the camera is going to have built-in nd filters with up to six stops so these are going to be variable internal nd filters really good now one of the things that I think Canon should have done is actually release this camera instead of like hyping up all the video features on the R5 and make the R5 an excellent photography camera, market the camera as a photography camera and you know say that hey by the way you have some video features and release this camera with the R5 rather than the R5 and the R6. Now that's my opinion, let me know what you think, drop your comments down below. Now we're also going to have in this camera audio capabilities, two mini XLR inputs and this is going to be great for recording simultaneously two microphones connected into the same camera without the need of external XLR recorder. So this is starting to sound like a very popular camera guys. The other thing that we're going to have is full blown HDMI port and this is something that all cameras that have video capabilities I consider they should have at least camera that they are like full frame type of bodies and above well this one is kind of like a super 35 but the Canon EOS R5 actually has a micro HDMI port whereas the R has a mini HDMI which is actually three times as bigger as the uh, micro HDMI so in this one they're gonna go with the full HDMI port and I think it's a great call. Any camera from here on that has some serious video features should have a full HDMI port. All right, so let's talk about some of the video features. I'm gonna read them to you. We're gonna have 4K video, 4 to 2, 10 bit. That's pretty good. In all I and also IPV up to 120 frames per second. Now this is actually really good, but it reminds me of a camera that I actually pre-order. The Sony a7S III can actually do all the, you know, Pretty much all these things that this camera is going to do in a dslr type of body um, and again i wish that canon released this camera or hyped this camera uh, for video rather than hyping all the video features of the canon r5 what do you think let me know now let's talk about the media because we're going to have one cf express card and two sd card uhs2 now this is going to be great because the camera is going to cap a 4k up to 120 and also we're talking about super 35 sensors so chances are that for most video options you're going to be able to record onto the two sd cards and of course for the much higher end videos and demanding videos you maybe require the cf express card now the next feature is that this camera is going to have raw capabilities when outputting the video via HDMI. Now we're gonna have 4K video up to 120 frames per second. Now we don't know about the bit rate of this video, but probably it's going to be 12. Can it be maybe 16 like the Sony a7S III? We don't know, we'll report back as soon as we get that piece of information. Now let's talk about power because this camera is going to be powered by two LP6NH batteries. These ones are the same battery that the Canon EOS R5 is using and remember this battery versus the end version actually has a 15 to 20 more percent of battery life and pretty good that we're going to be able to use those standard batteries. Chances are that we're going to be able to use the end as well. Now let's talk about the size of this camera because it is rumored that this camera is going to have a size smaller than the 1DX Mark III. Now I predicted before that any RF type of cinema camera that Canon will introduce would have like an XC15 type of body and I actually predicted this before even the uh, cinema rumor was even out there. So 
I hope that they actually stick to the body because it's actually a good body. I'm gonna list the picture right here so you can see it. Let me know what you think. Now, how much is this camera going to cost you? And the rumor talks about this camera being $4,500. And I think that it's pretty fair for a cinema dedicated camera, too many XLR inputs. I mean, I wish they were actually full blown, but this is telling me that the body of the camera is going to be small. We may see once again, a body like the XC15 type of body, uh, RF. I mean, this is going to be a killer camera, guys. Now, will this camera compete against the Sony a7S III? But I'm actually happy to know that Canon is planning to expand the RF mount to some of the cinema cameras. And chances are that the future of Canon cinema cameras are going to be with RF mount. And I mean, it just makes sense, right? Uh, and this is the reason why I hold on to buy any Canon cinema camera, because I'm waiting for the time that a camera like this one gets announced so I can actually use all my glass and I don't have to go and buy again EF glass for cinema cameras. So let me know what you think about this camera. Are you excited about this news? And also let me know if you think that Canon should have released this camera with the R5 instead of releasing the R5 and the R6. So as always guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you later.